groundswell process creates a product called Humisoil and it allows farmers to utilise on farm waste and convert it into a product that can be then put back into their soil. In the groundswell process, humus is actually starting to form um, to a level that in the native uh, or natural environment it would take 50 years usually and we can do it in six months. This is a story about how Gulf Savannah NRM helped some farmers trial a new and innovative way to improve their soil health. I was looking for ways that we could improve the soil around the Mariba Dimbula irrigation area and this seemed like a perfect opportunity to try something that we hadn't seen before in the region. The difference between humusoil and compost is in uh, encapsulating all the carbon and water that you would usually lose in a composting situation. Um, it's all captured in that humusoil and so it goes back into the soil. The composting process is more labour intensive and it's consistent work that has to go into building that pile. The groundswell process is one day only and then you leave it alone for 26 weeks. The end result is humusoil. I base a startup cost on about 70 tonnes of product. Uh, it works out to be about $2,500 for that 70 tonnes and if you were comparing to buying in compost or the labour involved in doing your own compost, it's uh, quite cost effective. Uh, the benefits to the soil that you get from that 70 tonnes, it is astronomical. You're putting uh, humus carbon, water, nutrients back into the soil that otherwise would have been emitted back into the atmosphere. And when that humus soil hits the soil, it continues the fermentation process in creating more humus. The groundswell process itself was designed to be accessible for any grower. The equipment that you would need is mainly found on farm, whether it be a tractor, whether it be a front end loader or, or whatsoever, and tarps, poly pipes, there's, there's not a lot to the whole process. Within 12 to 18 months, there's already going to be an increase in your soil carbon. You're going to see an increase in your CEC levels, which means the plant's going to be taking up all those nutrients that it usually loses that you're putting in. Uh, you're going to see a reduction in your pesticide and herbicide applications if that's the path that you choose. You're going to see a decrease in your irrigation costs. I love meeting people out on the farms and hearing their stories and seeing their passion for what they do. And I love being able to offer an alternative to solution to perhaps what they were already doing. So um, being part of people's journey is awesome. And I love the fact that these products can also help pull back certain crops that are in distress. This project was funded by a small farm smart grant healthy farming soils. To get involved, contact Jess at greenfoodaustralia.com.au.